In this video we're going to show you how to playback video and its limitations from your recorder. So I'm going to go to playback and I'm using a DVR that's on our local network and I'm going to pull up two cameras that were recorded at mainstream for today. So we're recording only on motion and uh, you can actually just click on a channel and play back. And you can have asynchronous playback from different uh, times for different channels or you can sync it by pressing this. If there is no motion recorded video for the same time as the other channels then it'll give you this uh, error message which is perfectly normal. Here I have uh, motion uh, at both times. So while I'm uh, playing this back I can actually choose to go faster. Now when you choose to do a fast playback it all depends on the resolution of the video you're playing back and also how fast your network connection is. I am going to stop the playback for one second, playback only one at a time at fast speed. You have to query the video again one more time and I'm going to play back this one channel because I have a lot of video there and I'm going to increase the playback speed. You can double click and expand the channel and here you can see the videos being played back while it's being played back, if you hover your mouse over, you can see what the resolution of your video is. This 2688 by 1520, the 1520 number is actually for a 4 megapixel, and you can see right now it's eating up about 11 megs per second. 10,000 or 12,000 kilobits per second equal uh, 12 megabits per second. Now, I'm on my router, and I, if I bring in my task manager, and I look at its performance tab, or even just the uh, processes tab, this is Windows 10, it shows me 67% or 69% of my network uh, capability of my computers being used. So this is on a wired network. Imagine doing this on a wireless. It would take even, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to do that. It would be really choppy video. So this demonstration is to show you that when you do fast playback, you are going to eat up a lot of network resources and if you don't have them available one your computer is not strong enough and two your network isn't fast enough you're not going to be able to do fast playback and that's a common um, complaint by home users and small business users that we get and this is a demonstration of why you need to have a good network and a strong computer now um, let me show you now how to playback video from two channels I'm going to zoom out a little bit and select another channel. This is playing back only at one time. So I've got one playing back at eight times and another one playing back at 1x speed. I'm going to go back to my resources and I see here that uh, now it's using 57 megs. Now let's pump this one up to 8x. Now I am on a fast network even uh, and even then I, I, you'll notice that now my network is being utilized 97 percent. I am, there's no way to play back more than one uh, with a m more uh, mainstream computer uh, when you're playing back video that's 4 MP or even 2 MP or even 3 MP uh, video from a security camera. When you get to HD cameras, you cannot play back several cameras at fast forward speeds of you know, 4X or 8X because of network limitations and computer limitations. You should only play back one camera at a time. So I am going to basically close this off and shut off one channel and now it's like 60 to 80 per, 70 percent and my computer is more happy. So in order to have the best playback speeds you need to have first a strong computer and second you need to have a uh, fast wired network. You cannot do it with a wireless. If you'd like to do playback that's fast you can go on the NVR itself, use the monitor and mouse directly attached to it to actually playback and review footage that you have. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.